What is up, alien army? I am Oculus, Oculus, the alien, the alien next, next door, door. Purveyor, purveyor of, of esoteric, esoteric lore. lore. And on this channel, we discuss everything esoteric, occult, and alien. Today's topic, we are going to be doing a pick a card reading. And this is going to be revolving around um, the dark side, okay? Uh, the dark side of the situation. Uh, what would potentially be draining you or draining the other person. This is going to be a love reading. That's about as far as I'm going to go with the theme because my readings tend to work better when it's sort of like a free-for-all, but it is going to be what's draining about this situation um, or what's draining your person or what's draining you, what's draining the relationship, anything in regards to a love romantical relationship. Okay, so this is why... I chose the beautiful uh, Nosferatu Le, Le, Le Normand, okay? And as you probably saw in the main photo, we have group number one. This is the letter. We have group number two. Wee, wee. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, clouds. And we have group number three, bear. Okay, so if you need a moment to choose which pile is calling to you, please feel free to do so and I will see you in your reading. What is up group number one? Those of you that chose group number one. Now let's get started first with the tarots. I did this one a little bit differently just because me shuffling on camera, I don't know, I feel like it takes a while and I don't be shuffling all that great. But, um, so yeah, these, they don't really fit with the dark theme, but they wanted to join the party, so here they are. So we'll save your oracles for later, we'll just leave this guy because you chose him. Okay, so first, oh my goodness. Starting off with a bang, the lovers for a love reading. Okay. We have Knight of Wands. We have, ooh, Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay. Okay. Let me just. Oh, and then we have in reverse the three of wands. And we have a uh, knight of hazards, which this is knight of pentacles. And then we have five of cups. Okay, so let me just get like a little look-see on this. All right, I feel like you guys are definitely a group that might not be in contact right now, uh, which is why you were drawn subconsciously to the letter here. And uh, if you see this this letter card here, this is sort of um, someone like peeking over a letter, right? They're not, it's almost as if they're wondering what the other person would say to them or communicate to them. Uh, and it's also as if they are um unsure how a message that they would communicate to the other person would go through there's some hesitancy there's like i want to contact someone or i want them to contact me but i don't know how or i like um you're kind of or they're kind of in an ego mindset where they want to or you want to but there's like stubbornness because of the way things might have went down okay but with the lovers here, this is a very deep connection, okay? So I think what's weighing you down and what's weighing the other person down is that I think one, or it could have been both, one or both parties in this connection tried to move things too fast and the other person sort of uh, went back in their shell and they, um, they, they with drew from the connection okay they retreated all right uh the person who withdrew wants to take things a little bit more slowly um they also i feel like 
someone in the connection okay remember take what resonates um because it could be you or it could be the person that you're thinking of is they want the one that withdrew likes to take things slower okay or at least in some manner with this connection they just want to take things slower and they feel like someone else was moving too fast okay so we have someone who's moving fast knight of wands we have someone who likes to move slow knight of pentacles right um so that's why they caused this rift here okay caused this sort of uh energy with the five of cups um that separation that that emotional turmoil okay uh, because I definitely see now ten of swords in reverse here that is news to me that this sort of like heavy energy is lifting but because we have that followed by the three of wands in reverse also it's not quite ready to come out of its shell okay but I feel like this is definitely people that are in separation okay one wants to move fast the other one wants to move slow it could be that the person that wants to move fast uh, they might uh, the person who likes to move slower might have perceived that person as sort of like um, a player type of energy where they were like, whoa, like, like they, they were uncertain. They were like, does this person really feel this way about me in particular or are they like this with everyone? Uh, so that's what caused the other person to withdraw some sort of hesitancy uh, there. But this is definitely like... Um, an ethereal union, okay? And I sense that both of you in this connection are checking up on each other. You're peeking on each other uh, on the low, you know, maybe through social media or through friends or like any um, common connection that you guys have, okay? But what I'm sensing the weight of this is that because of this separation, that's really the basic weight that's draining both of you. So if you think that you're weighed down because uh, of this connection or maybe the way that it uh, that you guys parted ways, I feel like they also are feeling that same way. And it's like both of you want to communicate with each other in the third dimensional plane, but it, for reasons, uh, egoistic reasons like, oh, well, you know, they're probably they've probably moved on so I'm gonna leave them alone or uh, you know I feel they should apologize to me so I'm gonna leave them alone or, or something like that okay but this is going to move forward at some point okay it's just like right now I sort of see this standstill there's still I feel like there's unprocessed emotions that happen between this connection on either your side or their side that that's why there's a little bit of this standstill Okay, uh, but let's see. Let's check out your oracles. All right, so we have uh, Three of Cups, Gush, Gushion. Yeah, I am probably not gonna pronounce that correctly. Okay, and this says, reconciles friends, tells of the past, present, and future, gives dignities and honors. Wow, okay, reconciling. Okay, boom, there we go. And look, look at the way that this fellow is posed here. They're sort of like creeping on forward, right? So it's like creeping forward slowly. Uh, apology. Oh, look at this. What did I just say? Thank you, universe. I said someone was waiting for an apology. Ooh, I've loved you since the second I saw you and I never stopped. Okay, excuse me. Jack-o'-lantern, protection. And for one, seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely a spiritual connection. We have the, the lovers. That was the first card that popped up essentially with this seventh chakra. So you guys are connected on the ethereal plane. Uh, you're probably having like psychic dream time together or something like that. You definitely feel the intensity of each other's energies on the ethereal plane for sure. Okay, um, now with this jack-o'-lantern here, protection, what I'm sensing is sort of like, um, now I, I'm taking this in this particular reading, if we notice how the jack-o'-lantern sort of has this little smile here, it's sort of like whoever, um, or both of you, you know, uh, this is a general reading, so it could be for both of you or just one, but 
they they are not coming forward or you're not coming forward because you feel like you have to protect yourself with the ego it's sort of like your ego is or their ego is putting on this false sense of bravado like they're putting on a smile because they want to protect themselves they want to uh, protect their their feelings okay I've loved you since the second I saw you and I never stopped I mean so even though there is a disconnect in this situation I do see that you guys are connected on the ethereal plane that's probably why you're looking at this right and you I, I feel like you're waiting for them to creep on forward and they're waiting for you to creep on forward okay I also feel like with this apology card here that they might even feel like you owe them an apology okay uh, I don't know why but I, I also see that um, I don't think that this is gonna necessarily move forward very fast okay uh, just because I see that ego barrier but I see that you are connected to them um, all right, but this here with this three of cups this this reunion uh, type of energy reconnects friends I feel like you are gonna move forward, but again in this this slow energy and um, I also sense that you know it is gonna come to a happier place Okay, where maybe you guys are gonna start talking again but only as friends okay so they might contact you immediately or you might contact them immediately but it's more because there's that protective barrier that's encompassing you know one or both of you in this connection that you know until that barrier comes down like this this lovers here is not going to really come into fruition because I feel like you know someone really owes someone else an apology regarding this okay um so yeah, maybe the one that pulled away is going to offer an apology, okay? Uh, if the one that, let's say you were the one that pulled away because you weren't sure about them, um, I feel like that kind of uh, threw a wrench in their plans or something, okay? I don't know why because... I'm sensing that it's sort of like a mutual thing here. So even though you might be thinking like, why would I owe them an apology? I didn't do anything. I feel like in from their perspective, they, they also feel that about you for, for whatever reason. But there is genuine love here. There's an ethereal connection. There's moving forward slowly to a place of happiness and out of this. But I, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't see it moving fast. So if you do communicate with them, you know, let's say they, they just text you right now as I'm speaking here, um, you're going to start slowly, like have that sort of like friendship feeling where you guys get more comfortable around each other and it doesn't take off like, you know, like, like the Concord down a runway, you know what I'm saying? It, it's sort of like it's a steamroller, like plowing, plowing the, the road, right? Um, so yeah, uh, but there is genuine love. There's an ethereal connection. Uh, I would say if you want to, to bring them closer to you, maybe, um, send them a telepathic message because you guys are connected in the ethers. Like, you know, um, reach out to me because, uh, I'll at least hear what you have to say or something like that. Whatever intention resonates with you. Okay. But I do feel that both of you guys are still sort of like protecting your own feelings in this and you the two of you might not have shown each other like the true feeling of that connection that you both feel so deeply okay so uh it is gonna move forward slowly but i feel like uh, you know when when you guys reconnect it's gonna be on more of like a friendship level where you start to get to know each other on more of like a platonic or casual vibe at first okay so as i got for you group number one i am oculus the alien next door and we will chit chat again soon what is up group number two those of you that chose the clouds okay we are gonna find out what's going on in your connection here save the oracles for a little later let's break out the tarot okay so first card up six of cups And we have seven of cups in reverse. That's interesting. We have a six and we have a seven in reverse. Why? See, this is... <laughs> this is why I chose, like, different decks. We have the seven of cups in reverse again. 
thank you universe and this fits with the clouds i will tell you why in a second but mm, i love when the cards do that knight of pentacles in reverse Whoop. um and the star and the nine of wands okay wow so first off let me start with this um these clouds here okay because you chose the clouds now this subconsciously means that things are foggy hazy or sort of you're in a state of confusion okay you might be doubting if this connection is real if it's in your head uh the other person might be doubting if this connection is real or in their head there might be just some confusion going on this might be a friends with benefits situation this might be a situation where you guys both don't really know where you stand with each other now, um, I don't know if with this group I'm sensing that you're not speaking at all. Um, I, I'm not really getting a strong pull either which way, but uh, if you are in, in, in communication with them, I'm guessing that it's sporadic, few and far between. Uh, there might be a distance among you, okay? You might only be communicating uh, online um, and... Uh, not in person, okay? I don't know why. I also feel like you have a history with this person. This might be like an ongoing situation, someone you've known for a while, a few years, something like that. But I do feel like there's there's some sort of like um, distance between you. Like both of you are confused in this. And this is what's really draining both of you because you both don't really know how the other one feels okay now we have two in a row the reverse seven of cups okay so this is saying that it's like both of you have this like this pure innocence in this connection that you you both have genuine love and affection for each other right you both find each other um pretty endearing in your own way okay um but there is no movement forward because i feel like um it's more of It's more of a platonic type of thing, at least right now, okay? This is a connection to someone you've known for a while. I do sense that they care about you a lot and you care about them a lot, okay? Um, there was a confusion maybe going on with you guys that you just... Uh, you, you didn't know like it, it maybe it was like a friends with benefits thing that kind of turned into something more and then it went back to friends with benefits I mean I, I don't know I just don't see like a queer movement forward but I also see this this pure like with the reversal here it's like like there's finally been a decision made okay um, on your part or their part it's not like staring at all of these different um, seven of cups and and seeing which one to choose okay this is sort of like I know that, that we have this genuine connection with each other, but um, like I also know that we can't move forward right now, but in the future, okay, this is something worth holding on to, all right? This is why we're, we're uh, closing out the tarots with the Nine of Wands here. So you did choose the this because there is confusion, because you guys know that you mean a lot to each other. Um, but I feel like, like both of you also know or decided in some way that uh, you're not going to move forward right now and maybe in the future if it's meant to be like it'll just happen on its own like it, it's worth waiting for in other words okay so again like this distance the separation now I, I I'm not really I don't know exactly what it means it might be a long distance connection it might not be it just might be that you guys are at different stages of your life, okay? So you've decided that you care for each other and you want to remain in contact, which is probably why if you are getting communication, it, it's like scattered because you don't really want to let go of them and they don't really want to let go of you. But it's at the same time, like you're both in different places. You both decided like, okay, I care for this person. I love this person, but you know what? I'm not going to move forward. I'm just going to kind of like let it be in the future. Uh, I know that we have a chance together, um, but I, I'm not going to do anything about it right now. And I feel like it, it's sort of like a mutual thing on the energy of both of you, okay? Because there was a lot of confusion uh, of what's going on. The only thing that isn't confused is that, you know, you guys really do care for each other. But as of right now, it's like, okay, like no one really is 
ready to address the issue of what's going on okay but i feel like it's sort of been decided on both parties i don't feel like it's something that one left the other hanging. I feel like this person will always be there for you no matter what and vice versa. I'm not sensing that anything crazy negative happened, okay? I just sense it was more like you guys met at a point in time where you, you knew that you had a connection but it wasn't ripened to its full potential and you sort of had to part ways at least in the meantime uh, because they're not where you're at, you're not where they're at, right? It, it's like a connection of of emotions only. But I again, like they, there's some sort of distance. It's either like they are not in a good point in their life for like a steady commitment. You are not in a good point in your life for a steady commitment. But you both see it with each other in the future, and you're just gonna kind of like keep in touch because you guys don't want to lose contact with each other but you also both have decided um subconsciously that it's not going to happen right now okay so let's take a look at some oracles here wow i'm not gonna know how to pronounce this this says four of swords yep look at this thank you universe resting relaxing just like mind at peace okay uh keep Kimmy's yeah you know what I'm just not even gonna try this says teaches grammar <laughs> oh how funny is that logic and rhetoric can make one appear like a soldier okay there we go and we have happiness no matter where I am or who I'm with, my mind always wanders back to you. What did I say? Thank you, universe. So if there is distance, this this is just solidifying what I just said. Mummy, change. And one five, appreciation. Okay, we have happiness and appreciation. We have change. Wow. So, yeah, you guys with this whole Four of Swords energy, I mean, if we're looking at it, this is kind of giving me night vibes, right? But it's like a knight that's standing still and he's kind of looking backwards to the past. So, so yeah, there is this happiness, this love, okay? There is this night energy, uh, but it's a still night. It's sort of like standstill. Also, Four of Swords, this means like no movement is going to happen now, but I feel like both parties are at peace with it. That's why we both have two representations of seven of cups in reverse both of you have already decided that yeah it might not happen now um but i'm okay with that okay and both of you you know no matter where i am or who i'm with my mind always wanders back to you it's because there is this genuine love this genuine connection here um but you know you both aren't in the place of your life that you're ready to come together in this relationship because i feel like it's sort of going to be like a life-changing experience for the two of you to come together like everything that you ever wanted but you're both of you aren't necessarily ready to experience that right now so um i also am sensing like this is the one that got away you might feel this about them they might feel that about you uh you know however you want to look at it okay maybe on both ends but uh the the two of you like are gonna reunite okay um, because you have like true happiness with each other, um, but I'm sensing in in the distance, okay, like so somewhere in the future. So whatever somewhere in the future means to you, okay, it's like you can see it, but you you also subconsciously know that you're not ready to experience it right now. There's still like other things that need to occur along on your journey and their journey and i feel like you guys know that you're you're meant to be together that this is something worth holding on to i don't feel like you guys are going to be completely out of contact but as far as like the actual relationship that sort of ten of cups ending here uh both of you might not be ready for that type of change yet and even if you're you're sitting there like what no i'm ready i'm ready right now it's like if you were ready right now, it would be here right now. Do you get what I'm saying? So there's some reason why you're not with 
uh, this person, why they're not with you, okay? There, there's some doubt, there's some fear, there's maybe fear of change, like what if, what if this is the one and, you know, so I feel like it's sort of like paused here, it's like taking a little break, but it's not letting go. There's not going to be a sense of like, they're, they're always going to be, I feel like this is someone who's always going to be in your experience, no matter what. Like this is someone that you could call after not hearing from them for six months and pick up where you left off, okay? And vice versa, the same with you. So um, they are always thinking about you. Uh, you make them happy. They do appreciate you um, and vice versa, okay? I just sense that it's going to be a, a relationship. You know, what's burdening you you both is that you're, um, you're both like like you were confused about who is this person to me what does this person mean to me what is their role in my experience okay and you decided or they decided or both of you decide you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna roll with it i'm just gonna find out i decide you know what i i like they are the one for me but i'm just gonna let uh i'm just gonna let things happen okay that that's really what i'm sensing with this group so it's sort of like you know you you were wondering like where do you stand with them but it, it, you know you decided okay you know what like there is something genuine and real here but if they're not going to be ready for me right now I'm not going to be ready for them right now and we'll just come together in the future at a later point like I feel like you both have sort of accepted that okay so that's what I got for you guys group number two I am oculus the alien next door and we will chit chat again soon what is up group number three those of you that chose the bear all right let's find out what's going on in your connection we'll save the oracle cards for later we'll look at the tarot cards first Whoop. okay so let's see the devil Uh, the Page of Spears, the Page of Pentacles. Ooh, Eight of Swords in Reverse. Six of Pentacles in Reverse. The Hermit. And the Three of Hazards, and this is the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, so I feel like this might be like a, a sort of like ego play or like a power trip or something going on here, all right? Um, I also feel like this might be actual like material realm obstacles, like a material realm obstacle course, which is weighing down you or this person, okay? Because now you did choose the bear and this is representative of like, um, like, physical realm resources like physical power like financial power things like that okay um it's also like an animal type of lust and, and that just you know we're pairing that with with the devil here okay so um i'm definitely sensing you know we have a lot of earth energy okay so uh there might be like uh you know earth sun moon rising venus might even be an earth midheaven, which is why we have this sort of like power dynamic going on. Uh, you know, I feel like you or your partner wants someone who's very financially independent, secure, and stable. Um, and I also feel like you want that for yourself and they want that for themselves too. So there's a lot of like material realm obstacles that are weighing you down or weighing them down, okay? Um, I feel like it's more of like a you know a like i feel like you guys okay this one if anything is definitely a connection where there's a lot of like visceral energy a lot of uh strong sexual attraction okay this is like animalistic type of uh foreplay here like i don't know how to describe it okay um you know, I'm, I'm seeing like a lot of physical 
chemistry, physical connection, okay, uh, there, there's just a lot of like physical, sexual, dynamic charge between you guys, all right? Um, I, I, I feel like that's sort of like what, what's drawing you to this person, what's drawing them to you. So for example, uh, let's say your person is not in a place where they feel like financially stable. Uh, they are very driven and focused on their material realm goals, but they also have a lot of like physical needs and desires, which they perceive you as fulfilling them greatly for, for them, right? Um, okay, so there, there's, uh, it, it's sort of like, um, I think what, what's stopping this connection, what's weighing on both of you is I feel like both of you, just when you thought you've like made it like with your finances or your career or, or like home stability where you want to be, then you take a step back and then you move forward, then you take a step back, right? So I'm sensing that there's definitely some sort of like financial uh, situation at play, okay? So um, it might be that you or the person you're thinking of is, is just so focused on money right now and being financially stable with themselves that, you know, they're only or you're only in the mind space for like a physical connection and not really ready to move forward emotionally okay i also feel like um you know we don't have um cups energy here right we don't have wands energy okay so i don't feel like you or your person has really expressed like um an emotional depth Okay, like there is a lot of physical passion between you guys. I'm not I'm not saying there isn't, but as far as like the emotions where you guys have like spoken about your deep feelings for each other, I see that both of you aren't really ready to do that right now. It's like you both want to keep this connection alive because of it's really good sex. That, that's just as I'm calling it as I sees it, okay? Um and I feel like money is a big factor, okay? Uh, again, just like when someone seems like they're taking a step forward to the place where they want to be financially, then they take a step back, step forward, step back, okay? And because you or your person or both of you are not really in like um, a place where you're physically where you want to be, like comfortably, like, you know, you can have comfortable finances, but like you're not in the greatest living situation or uh, something along those lines okay I feel like there there's some sort of perception here of like physical lack but yet um, like an abundance of like physical sexual activity here okay so um, with you guys um, I do see that uh, potentially you can come together in the future okay but both of you would need to take like a a time away from each other or there might be a little break in between um, now and when you guys are coming together, okay, I see that it's highly charged sexually, but both of you are like not sharing your deepest emotions, um, you know, to each other. Okay. So it, it can come together. Uh, this might be someone that you end up like having a kid with, or you already have a kid with them. I don't know why I'm, I'm picking that up. Um, or it's been like the idea has been toyed with okay um, don't know why that it could be for some of you I'm not seeing everyone but I feel like it or it could be like uh, this is someone that you you already have children with and there was like maybe a custody type of thing or I don't know again it's something material okay um but you guys have a so this could be someone that you were with right um and you have a highly charged se sexual dynamic with them but uh you feel that they're not a good parent right so you you pull back like i i don't know okay now i don't know where that came in out of nowhere but i feel it might apply to at least one of you so i i had to say that okay but there's not really a great depth of sharing emotions here so let me get the oracles because i feel like i was speaking very long on the tarot. two of pentacles look at this more pentacles amon i don't know how to pronounce any of these and we have reveals the past and the future reconciles friends and enemies okay yeah so it might be a love-hate dynamic we have friendship oh, friends reconciles friends we got friendship i don't read oracles in reverse 
I care more than you realize. Okay, I could kind of see that. Earth. I feel like this is more like, look at, like, take away the H and you have Earth. Um, happiness in our hearts and homes, more physical realm stuff. Thank you, universe. And then look at this, two, six hostilities, okay? So, yeah, that, I feel like this might be someone who you were maybe married to or living together. You guys might have children together, okay? Um, that, that, that's like keeping you together, but you also have this like, love-hate relationship this animal instinct type of thing okay we have like two of pentacles i feel like you guys do want to expand and grow with each other because you feel comfortable with each other you feel at home with each other okay um happiness in our hearts and homes all right um again i i can see this sort of like if you don't have a family with this person a family could even mean a dog a family can mean just the two of you guys you know whatever the case a family can mean you guys have a bunch of plants together or you're growing a vegetable garden right um so because of this love hate thing going on okay uh you guys do have like there is a genuine friendship here, but you also have love-hate images uh, going on. Like, you, one minute you love them, the next minute you hate them. I feel because there's a strong, strong sexual dynamic here. Really, like, like wow, okay? There might be, like, some, some Mars-Venus aspects between you guys. Like, this is, like, a strong sexual connection. There's a lot of passion, sexual tension love hate again one minute you you love them the next minute you can't stand them but you both care for each other more than either of you realizes and there is a genuine friendship here going on um and and i feel like you might even feel like you're at home with this person when you're with them like when it's really good it's amazing and when it's really bad it's like oh you know like one of those type of things okay but I feel like what's burdening you guys is really something like about your physical resources, okay? You guys might squabble a lot over money. Uh, you or your person might not be in the best financial situation. Uh, there might be like a perception of lack or something in the material realm, okay? It could even be something like the, the perception of lack of love between you guys because again, like we don't have cups energy here. Uh, this is not someone and you're not someone who's really just going to wear your heart on your sleeve. So I feel that also might be, uh, you know, uh, burdening you or your partner in this connection because you both haven't really had that emotional talk yet. And I know it sounds weird to say that, especially if you guys do have kids together, like, and you didn't talk about your feelings, <laughs> you know what I mean? But that that's just the vibe I'm picking up like both of you aren't really the the best at communicating like deep feelings you sort of shield that part um of, of yourselves but you know you care more than they realize and they care more than you realize so I do see this um you know kind of growing okay like growing slowly but i feel that unless you're able to like communicate deep emotions even if it's like you just send a text message you know when you're in a good place and they're in a good place um i feel like it's gonna you know take a longer time to to grow and to get there but i'm not really sensing like a separation with this group okay because i said high sex so if you guys are only seeing each other for that purpose you know there's no real se separation like you guys are in contact but it's not really like emotional depth type of contact okay so i feel like that's also burdening them that's also burdening you um you know when you guys um are finally in a place where where the the physical resources are abundant and flowing then that's going to sort of squelch the hostilities betwixt you guys because again some of you might be a lot fighting over money or someone might be saying well why don't we move in together and someone is like well where are we going to get the the resources for that or um you know I, something along those lines so i feel like the biggest thing that's burdening this is um you know you guys are having a, an experience of like you're you're perceiving lack in the material realm or you're perceiving lack because you guys don't communicate each other's feelings but you have a lot of good sex okay but it's also burdening them so yeah uh, that's all i got for you guys group number three i am oculus the alien next door and we will chit chat again soon